Hey there, this is Terry Wheat from onceuponawheat.com, our travel blog. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to talk to you today about visiting something, and I believe this is the only place on the entire earth that you can see this, and that is a man-eater, in particular man-eating lions. Chicago's Field Museum has three, so this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity uh, to be able to see. There are groups overseas that are trying to acquire two of the man eaters. And so if Chicago is within your realm, I would definitely see them regardless. But uh, it's possible that they won't always be there. So take advantage of the opportunity if you're in America or if you were visiting the Chicago area. It's a, all of the museums there are great. They are comparable to the National Museums in DC. The Field Museum happens to be probably my favorite in Chicago and they have a lot of really cool stuff, but to see the man eaters that have been made infamous in movies and books, and um, in the news is a really unique kind of chilling experience. So I love lions. They are beautiful. They are majestic. I can't wait to go on safari someday and be able to see them from safely within a Jeep. And I enjoy seeing them at the zoo, uh, but lions are terrifying. <laughs> And ever once in a while, they kind of prove that they are the king of the jungle and go on human attacks. And I have an article, a full article that talks about this. It talks about the three man eaters and why experts after the research, detailed research, believe that each of these three in particular and then others have attacked humans and developed a taste for human flesh and went on killing sprees. And then I have pictures of all three of the man eaters and how you can visit them and more detail into what they did, how they were caught. And so you will definitely want to check that article out. It's pretty interesting. So the first one that they have there at the Field Museum is the man eater of Mifui. And back in 1991, he killed and ate six women and children. So pretty terrifying stuff. But even more than that, he acted very unusually. He went into the, with the children, a number of the children, he pulled them from the path, the walking path to kill them at night. But the women, he crashed through their door of their hut and pulled them out of their very own home to kill them. So his sixth victim, the day after he pulled her out and killed her, he went back to her hut in this large village and he retrieved a laundry bag that had some of her clothes. He walked it through the village. People tried to scare it off by yelling and beating pots. He continued, he defiantly roared the whole way through. He dropped her laundry bag in the middle of the village and roared over it. So pretty aggressive, pretty defiant. It shocked them so much that they believed that he was evil, that he was a sorcerer in lion's form. There's a lot more to that story. He did a number of other things. He terrorized this village. And so um, it is interesting, uh, an interesting story. So he is the largest man-eating uh, lion on record, so you'll want to see him at the Field Museum for sure. And then the other two that they have nearby in the exhibits are the Lions of Savo. And these are the most infamous man-eating lions of all, not only because the fact that people had never realized or known two male lions to hunt humans as a pair before and their behavior was kind of unusual but also because in 1996 there was a good movie that came out with Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas. I really like the movie and I highly recommend you see it uh, before you go see them and it details the terror that these two lions caused. It happened back in 1898. They were accused initially of killing 135 people for nine long, terrifying months. They kept thousands of workers in terror. So there is a lot more to that story. The people, the locals and the workers believed that they were evil, that they were the ghost in the darkness, that they could not be killed by humans. And after many, many efforts and traps and failed instances, even the men with guns uh, for nine months, it seemed like that may be true. They were eventually killed. I have all of the details on the three man eaters. Um, 
in my article I have pictures of all three of them I have what they did how they were caught and then also information on after experts have done detailed research on why they believe that they went on this killing spree and developed this taste for human flesh and a little more information on man eating lions so check that out it's really interesting you won't want to miss it see the field museum see the man eating lions if you have the opportunity at all uh, see the movie too and uh, check out our blog come sign up for our newsletter we send out a newsletter every week and it has information things that are going on with our wheat family uh, every week it'll have offers and our posts every week and different things that you won't want to miss and then come follow us on social media we would love to have you we are just about everywhere we are on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest as well as Twitter and on YouTube. And so hit the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos, so that you're alerted when those come out. Sometimes they're on travel, often, but sometimes they're on other things too. If I think it's interesting or useful to you, I will put it here. And so leave us a comment if you have a question and I would love to engage with you and uh, engage with you on social media as well. So thank you so much for joining us and I will see you soon.